in the past on our show, we've talked about the webworm, those caterpillars that make those big web masses on the ends of the pecan trees and the walnut trees and sometimes the native persimmon trees and can just really take away a lot of the leaves and make those trees look bad. Well, that is the webworm and we've also talked about the bagworm. And this is another caterpillar type insect that uh, usually makes these little bags look like Christmas ornaments on a lot of our cedars and, and some of those evergreen trees, but uh, just one caterpillar per bag on the bagworm. Well, another caterpillar I want to tell you about today is the tent caterpillar. And that's what we have in the early spring on some of our fruit trees. These like to feed on our native plums, our, our wild cherries, and sometimes they get on our apples, our apple orchards, and the crab apples as well. But uh, you can see the caterpillars here. They've got a little bit of a, a, a white line, some yellow on the back, and some little blue spots, sort of bluish purple spots as well. But these hatch out from eggs that were laid the previous May on some of these trees, about the time the leaves come out. And once they hatch out, they sort of congregate at a branch uh, crotch area where some of the branches sort of fork on the trees. And I guess maybe the, the first one that hatches out is the leader and it decides where we're gonna make the tent, where we're gonna pitch the tent. But they make these tight little tents there in those uh, branch fork areas and they pretty much live at night or sleep at night inside the tent. But then in the daytime, they venture out of the tent to go and feed. And you can see some of the leaves here that they've, they've been feeding on nearby. But uh, during uh, cold, cloudy, rainy weather, they uh, go back inside the tent as well. But these can, can do a little bit of damage when they defoliate some of the leaves or really just on some of the uh, crab apple trees, maybe in our landscapes. They just, they just make it look kind of bad. They're really not that much of a problem unless there's just a whole lot of the tent caterpillars on the tree. Now there are a number of ways to control these. You can sometimes find the little egg masses because uh, once those, uh, those moths, those, those brown fuzzy moths with the uh, two white lines and the feather-like antenna, once they lay those eggs, they will uh, be on the tree throughout the summer, the fall, and the winter. And right here you can kind of see some of the, uh, the egg mass right here. This is where, where these hatched out. You can see they, they hatched out here and then just kind of crawled back here and made their tent but uh, sometimes you can just come out and find those egg masses and remove those as a control method. And also if you, you had a problem with the, uh, the, the, the tent here, you could just come out and just, just collect that. Just, just grab all of that and uh, maybe go fishing, feed them to the, uh, the fish in your water garden, something like that. And if they are up in a, a part of the tree that you can't reach with your hands, you can even just get a stick and just reach up there and maybe just kind of roll up all that, that mass, sort of like a big wad of uh, cotton candy or something like that with all those caterpillars and then go and do something with the caterpillars at that time. You can also spray these with a, a caterpillar spray like uh, Bacillus thuringiensis, uh, a biological control, but you do have to pierce that, uh, that tough tent to get that pesticide on the caterpillar. So it may be just as easy just to grab, grab them and just, just take them out. And if you have an apple orchard and you repeatedly have problems with tent caterpillars in the springtime, you might search around the outlying areas of your property and maybe remove some of the, uh, the wild plums and the wild cherries to lessen the problem with the tent caterpillar. But uh, tent caterpillars, just another caterpillar along with the uh, webworms and the bagworms we wanted to show you on Oklahoma Gardening.